Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a very easy look that it's been one, a look that I've really been liking to do since it really involves just one brush, one palette, and just like a primer and mascara and brows and lip product and that's it. Something very, very quick and easy. It could take you less than five minutes. I mean, it's something that I'm just going to be doing very, very quick and boom, 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 boom. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you like makeup. And please subscribe to my channel so you can see my results and further Pan That Palette videos if you're into them. And I'm thinking about doing another project pan where I do all my candle melts and my wax warmers. So if you want to stay tuned and see what I want to pan next, then uh, please hit that subscribe button and you'll see. So if I really seem like out of it and just like lagging, I have like intense pain over here in my like ear that's radiating into my teeth. This crazy freaking weather has been like absolutely like ridiculous. I am in so much pain. I just took like two Tylenols. So hopefully something should happen soon. So I didn't want to let you guys down and not do a video. So here I am. So I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Um, cool bronzer. It looks like this. Um, you can get this at the drugstore, you can get this at Target. Well, you can get this at Walmart, Target, CVS. I don't know about CVS, you can get other variations. But you can really get this at um, Target. I found mine at Target. So I'm just going to be taking this bronzer for the whole look. Now, if you're like me and you're as fair as me, you can't use bronzers as easily. So I bought this bronzer and I decided to repurpose it because these shades, um, what fingers did I use? As you can see, they're very orangey, like especially these two and the other shade was supposed to be a blush. I've seen people with these palettes where this looks like a blush. I don't, I don't understand that, but moving along, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. primer, i Shadow Luck Eyelid Primer, and I'm really just going to be priming my eyes with that, and I'm just going to take a couple dots, ooh, this might be dried out, let me see, um, I'll be able to go and get it for this look, because I just, I have a couple other primers, um, that I have that are like this that are really quick and easy. I found something like this pretty easy to use. Maybe just add just a bit more. That might be too much, but I don't know. If this has gotten old or something or whatever, I'm just going to toss it out after this video. Why have it in my collection if it's gotten pretty darn old? And like, or at least the doe foot feels very nasty, kind of. Like, it feels really, um, hard like gritty I don't know how to explain it but it just doesn't feel like the normal doe foot so I'm just gonna be painting pretty much this all over my eye and then I'm just gonna be taking my fingers and blending everything out like I said this is nothing not gonna be too hard the average Joe very beginner can do this I mean this is just really quick and easy now this eye primer does add sparkle I don't know if you can see on my face okay you probably can't but the camera isn't even picking up on this but there is some sort of sparkle um, on this primer but it is what it is so I'll live with it um, if you don't want to do that just use your normal primer or concealer and all will be okay I'm just gonna drag that underneath my eye not underneath my eye but like you know what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna be taking these oops nope where is it okay I'm gonna be taking this little crease brush I'm just gonna be I'm wiping off the whatever excess I had I'm just gonna be taking going into this white shade right here I'm just gonna be setting everything Now, I don't know what made me decide to use this as eyeshadow. I think it was the fact that I saw a lot of people using it. 
and people reviewing it. And I'm just like, I can't even use it because I'm so fair. And it said cool bronzer, but it's orange. It's still orange. So I just kind of just threw it in the back of my collection. Well, I had two of them, and I decluttered one. Well, I gave one to my best friend. And then she's like, well, I'm not going to use it. So she just kind of gave it back. Since I was like, I'm just going to use it as an eyeshadow. That's probably my best bet with using these kinds of things. It's just using it as eyeshadow. I mean, this would be really quick and simple on the go looks. But also, if you're traveling and you don't want to take, like, a bunch of products, this... Now, there is kickback when you kind of dig around in it, obviously, but... No, that's okay. Um... Another good thing about this is you can use this, like if you are you're going on a trip and you don't want to really pack a lot of stuff, you can just take your bronzer and you can take like your face powder and just make like really nice looks with this. Like this will be the lid shade and this will be the crease color and just have a crap ton of looks. You can also do that. So if I want, I'll add my face powder, but I don't know. I'm going to be taking this dark shade. Well... I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and I'm going to be putting that right into my crease with the same brush. And just buffing that in. Pretty darn messily. Nothing... Nothing too definite. Just keep doing that. Now I've liked how this has been looking. I just wish the colors were a little more cooler toned. Um, that's honestly the only reason why I am using this as a, a uh, eyeshadow. If not, I'd probably be using this obviously as the right purpose. But I don't need no orange bronzer. And just keep blending. Now, I'm really just slapping everything on. I'm not doing anything precise. You know, where it goes is where it lands. It's pretty much where what I'm at right now. Now, after we have all those blended out, I will be taking the darkest shade, and I'll be putting that into the crease and also on my... Uh, outer V. So I'll be putting that there first and I'll be just taking it up into the crease, the outer crease. And just going to define it all. Now, I did this look actually a couple days ago, and I was like, I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I was like, damn, you know. I was meeting someone, my uh, illustrator lady. She was very so kind enough to give me some um, pots and pans she was going to donate. She asked me if, she wa if I wanted any. And I just kind of threw this look together, and I thought it was really... Very quick and very easy, and for the average person who doesn't have time to do a lot of stuff, I thought this was something very, very, you know, it makes you look pulled together. It makes you look, you know, like you at least tried a little bit. That doesn't mean you have to slap on foundation and this, this, and cake it all on. But if you just, like, kind of put a little warmth in your face and put something in the crease to define it and put a little lipstick and whatever you think is necessary, you know, I thought this was something that would be float everyone's boat or so just and plus if you're going on a trip this is a good multi-purpose multi -purpose, um, item that you can bring you can use it for your bronzer and you can use it for your eyeshadow that way you don't have to be packing five palettes like I did okay I didn't bring five I think I brought like two or three but I was expecting to do people's makeup if that if that's in my defense 
So after that, I'm going to be taking the, um, the middle shade right here. I don't normally do switch brushes, but since I have them all in front of me, I'm just going to be taking, actually, you know what, I'm going to stick with the same brush. I'm going to be taking the same brush, like I said, I'm just going to be going into that uh, shade right here. I'm just going to be sweeping that underneath my lash line. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. That's my eye. Now, if you wanted to, you can add like a shimmer shade. You can leave it as that. You know, whatever you want to do. You can even add like a little face facial powder to kind of make everything look a little bit more natural. Like it's like your eye type of thing. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick to this. Because, like I said, I'm just not feeling good. And I thought that was just good enough. So I'm going to go out and apply mascara. And we'll go in for the clothes. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this ultra simple, brainless look. Um, I thought it was something, it's just something I've been loving for like, oh, I gotta run out to Walmart, throw this on. You know, and it's something I can really, this is something I can put in my purse with a crease brush, with some eyelid primer and mascara and have my brows already done and whatever. And I am good to go. And that is something that a person like an on-the-go mom or you're just in a rush, this is something that you can, you know, easily do, and I think it's something you should guys check out, and, you know, that's really about it, um, I wanted to give you some sort of video, even though I am not feeling good, so I hope you guys en did enjoy this, and maybe recreate your go-to looks, um, I would have to say, if I did recreate this look again, um, I would replace it with a cooler toned bronzer that does not appear orange on my skin tone. That is the only thing I would definitely change. So I will be on the hunt for that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, like I said. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video on my Project Pan. Bye.